The Veterinary Technology Program accepts 24 new students into the clinical phase of the program once a year, fall term only. All classes and labs are conducted during the day on the Newberry campus. Program clinicals are scheduled within the surrounding counties that we serve. Eligible applicants will have Biology 102, English 101, Math 102, and Psychology 201 completed with a grade point average of 2.0 or higher. If your placement test scores no show that you need to complete some additional brush-up coursework, these courses must be completed before you register for your program-ready courses. Additionally, a humanities course should be completed prior to program entry. Biology 115 can be taken with the first semester clinical courses. While not required, medical terminology is strongly encouraged. The program will accept up to 12 of the highest merit applicants and the rest of the class will be filled with the students that have the oldest application date. In other words, we accept the strongest academic students and the students that have been waiting for entry the longest. On average, most students that apply have a one year or less wait before they are accepted. Students that are merit eligible may have a shorter wait if they have one of the top 12 merit scores. Accepted merit points range differently with each cycle, but generally students that have a merit score of 32 or above have an increased possibility of acceptance. We'll go into more detail about these two application types later in the session. Full details on the curriculum are in the PTC catalog. There are a couple policies you need to keep in mind as we're discussing the completion of program ready requirements. The first important policy that you will need to know about is that coursework is time sensitive. Biology classes are so integral to health science and nursing careers that you need to have been exposed to the material within the past five years. In addition, technology changes rapidly, so computer courses must be completed within five years as well. Other classes that are more than 10 years old will only be awarded if a student possesses an associate's degree or bachelor's degree. This policy will mainly affect transfer and returning students. The next things that you need to keep in mind are our attempt policies. There are two attempt policies, a biology attempt policy and a program attempt policy. As you are completing program ready courses and qualifying for the clinical phase of your program, you may only repeat a biology course one time to earn a grade of C or higher. A withdrawal is considered an attempt and courses attempted at other colleges count as attempts. You only have two attempts in the clinical phase of any nursing or health science program, and if you do not succeed, you will be allowed a third and final attempt in a different program. The rationale behind these policies is simple. First of all, students pursuing professions in these fields will be dealing with people's health and well-being. We want only the most competent students caring for patients. Secondly, these are very popular programs and we have many more students wanting to get into these programs than we can actually serve. Every time we allow a student to repeat a class, he or she is taking a seat from another student. So, you get two chances. If you haven't succeeded in two tries, we must allow someone else to take your seat in class. When you have completed all the program ready requirements, as explained earlier, for your specific program, you will then be eligible to apply for the clinical phase of your program. You must complete a program ready or merit application if you wish to be considered for entry. Be sure you read the information provided in the packet. It gives you more detail about this process and shows you a merit worksheet. Note that you can earn points for test scores, grades on program ready courses, previous college degrees, 
your county of resi residency, and your cumulative GPA at Piedmont Tech on the merit application. Both the merit and the program ready applications are submitted electronically through the Health Science Resources website. Application availability will be posted on the college calendar and the college website. Programs accepting students in fall will accept applications in May and programs accepting students in spring will accept applications in September. It is your responsibility to know when your program accepts applications and when these applications are available. Again, this information is on the Health Science and Nursing Resources webpage for your convenience. After you submit your program ready or merit application, there are only two possible outcomes. Either you will be accepted into your program or you will not be accepted. Remember that if you aren't accepted, it is because other people who filled out program ready applications have been waiting longer than you have and or other people who filled out merit applications have a higher total of points. It is nothing personal and you should not give up. If you are accepted, you will need to attend a program acceptance meeting, submit a monetary deposit to hold your seat in the program, submit documents with proof of a recent physical and required immunizations, and attend your program's orientation. If you were not accepted, you can use the time that you are waiting to complete other needed courses, or you can work to increase your merit score and apply again next time. There are additional policies that you need to know. You may refer to your packet for information on the additional policies listed here. Also, be sure you read the frequently asked questions in your packet. This overview screen summarizes the entire process that we've just studied. Your first step is to complete the admissions process and enroll into the college. The second step will occur while you are taking classes. This could take more than one semester. The third step will occur once you are completely program ready. Here you will begin submitting your program ready or merit application to begin the clinical phase of your program. You will be notified by mail if you are accepted into a program or not. If you are in, you start the clinical phase of your program, and if you are not in, you can finish your general education classes, work to improve your merit score, and prepare to apply again at your next opportunity. We hope you now understand the entry process into our limited enrollment health science and nursing programs. Understanding this process will be the first step to your success. If you have questions, please contact your academic advisor for clarification. Thank you for completing this online version of the Health Science and Nursing Information Session. You must complete the post-test verification form to get credit for completing this session and to be cleared for registration. Go to www.ptc.org edu slash hsnis to complete and submit the questionnaire and verification form. Be sure to visit the Health Science and Nursing Resources webpage on Piedmont Technical College's website often. Program requirements and procedures may change periodically.